winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. And as always, winter will come unexpectedly. Frost, snow and even freezing rain, all this will happen and will last for another three or even four months, almost everywhere in Europe. And at this beautiful frosty time on our heads, well, the heads of those people who are somehow connected with aviation, for example, airlines, operators, agents, ordinary passengers and people who rent a jet for their needs, so more headache will fall on our heads. And of this headache is the icing. Hi, my name is Alex, you're on the Vitara Aviation channel and in this video we will talk about the icing. I will tell you what it is, why it is necessary to do this procedure and why it's so dangerous to fly without it. So, the icing, and if say officially, the aircraft ground de-icing procedure is critical maintenance process of removing snow, ice or frost from the aircraft surface with a spatial composition. And why for this de-icing needed? One word. Safety. Bigger please. Thank you. And the safety of passenger lives, first of all. As most of us know, there is such a thing as aerodynamics. It allows the planes to take off, fly without falling down to the destination point and land there. When it's cold outside and it doesn't have to be the straight frost in minus 20, there might even be above zero temperature, but not much, like plus 2, plus 5 Celsius. So when it's cold and it's humid outside, it's snowing or raining, the plane is covering with crust of ice. So, okay, the fuselage, the wing and tail are covered with ice and layer of snow, and when the plane begins to gain altitude, this crust of ice and snow only increases, and the wing, due to loss of those very aerodynamics properties, ceases to hold on the air well. You know, how it can turn on, the plane can just fall. Moreover, the ice blocks the moving parts of the wing and tail, which deprives the aircraft of any maneuverability at all. The pilot simply will not be able to do anything with that. But that's not all. The ice can get into the engines from the wing, and the stuck snow can blind the sensors by which the pilots read most of the information. Actually, all this is dangerous when the airplane takes off, when it needs to climb literally to a height, and here the aerodynamics of the wing is especially important. The perfect aspect ratio shall keep the aircraft in the air due to the pressure difference above and below the wing so that the aircraft can maneuver during takeoff. I also want to clarify that on a sunny winter day, handling service can also make the icing procedure. It all depends on many factors. Well, for example, if the plane stood outside the hangar for a night, it's already frozen and covered with ice and snow, so there should be a de-icing in this case. How does the icing treatment procedure work? Many of you probably saw it yourself through the porthole of the plane, because ground service pour the plane only after all the passengers are already on board, just before taxiing. But I will tell you anyway, a de-icer car drives to the aircraft, it has a semblance like a fire track and a separate cradle. The operator sits in the cradle and begins the pouring process. He starts spraying the aircraft with the de-icing solutions. This is typically a heated glycol water solution and it will melt any ice accumulation. There are four types of solutions. Type 2, 3 and 4 contain thickeners to prevent the liquid from immediately running over the surface and can be used in an anti-icing capacity. To speed up the process or in very bad weather, there can be used two or three de-icing cars or sometimes even more. I hope this video was interesting and useful for you. As always, we're waiting for your comments and questions. Also, don't forget to push subscribe button, like button and ring the bell. See you in the next video. Bye.